Hey, this is Patrick. I'm going to tell you how to add interactivity and animations to your create projects. So here's a simple little website for a webinar that might be coming up. You can see over here in the prompt that I've just got some basic information about the design and the content of the page. Let's make it a little bit more fun and let's add an animation. So I can come over here and for the button, I can say um, hover effects animation left to right slide, change the background to white and the text to black. So you can see you can just simply describe what you want and Create will know what to do. Great, now that that's finished building, you can see that fun hover effect. And let's say I wanna do something else. Let's do a uh, first load animation. Okay, the image should expand. And let's say the text flies in from the left side. I'll click Generate. Great. So you just saw in the first load, you get a fun animation effect. With Create, it's just as easy as describing exactly what you want, and it'll generate it for you. Another animation example that people ask for all the time is parallax scrolling. You can get that effect just by saying exactly what you want. So here, with a simple prompt, generate a coffee shop website with parallax scrolling and a background image that we grabbed from Pexels. You can see the effect right here. To test scrolling, we just recommend also click the expand button. This will take up the whole area and you can play with your site. Another thing you might wanna do is go on Google or go somewhere online and try to find some fun animations that you might wanna use in a project. So here I just search for CSS animations. There's some great websites like webcode.tools. Here I can get some fun um, interactive animations for my buttons. I can just come down here, copy the CSS code. I could drop this in a create project or I might come to a site like uh, Code Sandbox, I can get some more advanced animation. Here, this bouncing eyeball is actually not a CSS animation. It's a JavaScript animation. If I come here and I can grab the code, I can bring this over to a create project. So I'll just describe what I want. Animate a smiley face emoji with this animation. And I can just paste the code in and I'll hit generate. So as you can see, we're already getting a bouncing smiley face. I didn't even have to describe that I wanted it to bounce and Create was smart enough to know that that's what I was looking for. The way this is working behind the scenes is Create will use the foundational model to generate the relevant code for you. And it actually transitioned this JavaScript animation to an equivalent um, CSS keyframes animation. And you didn't have to do anything but just grab something that you like and paste it in. So as you can see, it's really powerful and flexible to get fun animations and add interactivity to your websites and apps.